Welcome to episode 166 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about why looks aren't everything. You can calm down now. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I had a lot of conversations over the past week that makes me want to talk about this topic. Um, last week we talked about, you know, what happens when you reduce somebody to like one single belief and this reductionism, like that person is a liberal or a conservative. So I'm going to reduce their whole person to that one trait when really there are a lot of other traits that make them the person. And if you got to know them and you learn those other things, you would actually like them a lot more and cooperate and, you know, have relationship and build relationship, not based on that one thing. So this week is really a little bit of a pivot from that, but in the same lane, looks aren't everything. And I'm not going to just talk about this in um, the perspective of like a person to person relationship, but also brand relationships and kind of, uh, I think the mentality in the marketplace to really gravitate toward how things look and produce stuff that looks a certain way, but really there might not be any substance of underneath it. And it's equally as ineffective. You know, when we talk about looks aren't everything with a person, if you're smart about relationships and you're mature, when you approach relationships, you understand that looks are obviously are a part of the equation. Um, people get attracted to one another by the way they look, but people stay connected to one another and grow closer together, not because of how they look. You know, we were joking about now with COVID going on and everyone's got to, um, you know, like they see everybody with the masks up. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, COVID surprises where somebody pulls the mask down and you're like, oh, not what I expected. Not what I expected. And so let's take this for a second. And let's move into the area of branding, marketing, business development. There's a lot of people who, you know, lean into this belief that the way something looks, it's got to look super amazing and it's got to be super dialed in and it's got to be like super uber creative in order to have any validity. And if a brand doesn't have that, then it's a crappy brand. And that's just not true. I'm somebody who loves great creative. I love stuff when it looks awesome. I appreciate the nuance, but that falls apart really quickly if there's no substance to the brand and even faster if the organization's execution is bad. Uh, last week, I was at a conference and Gary Vaynerchuk was there. As you may know, um, I was part of the Vayner Mentors program. So Gary and I have spent a number of uh, a number of hours together throughout the last years working on our agency and our business and getting to know each other a little bit. So he was at this event. And he was answering questions from the audience. And I love the way he puts things in perspective. So um, uh, somebody from Syracuse, a business, young business owner from Syracuse, Chetty, uh, he's got a business called TCG Player. And they're a, a card company and a collectibles company. They deal in a lot of stuff like um, Pokemon, Dungeons and Dragons, all these expensive things that I don't understand. And a lot of the inexpensive cards and games that I don't understand. But either way, it's a $50 million company, right? They're doing something right. He asked Gary, hey, Gary, um, we're getting into the sports card space and we need to reposition our brand so that it's relevant to that audience. It's a different audience, but the time is right. What do we do? And Gary says this, he goes, McDonald's. And everybody was like, what do you mean McDonald's? You know, he had classic, classic Vader truck. He says McDonald's. He's like, well, McDonald's is an Irish pub down the street from your house on the corner. But when I said McDonald's, all you thought about is the most successful food franchise chain in the world and their systems and all the advertising and all the marketing. And he said, focus on execution because it doesn't matter what the brand is and what the name is if you can't execute because it's also a game of execution. It's easy to get caught up on the brand. So now as someone who has a brand first agency, it's like a wake up call to say, hey, like a reminder, just because it looks great doesn't mean it is a great brand. There's gotta be substance. There has to be belief in there. There has to be alignment across your organization from your, your newest hire to your most seasoned team member, all the way through your process, all the way through to your customers and clients, all the way through to the marketing that people might see for the first time. And that alignment and consistency of message is actually like the good character of a person. And yes, if someone has good character, 
and they're very charismatic and they're very intelligent and they happen to be really good looking, yeah, then that's like the total package. People gravitate toward those people. But if they have good character and they care about others and they maybe aren't like a supermodel, but they take care of themselves, guess what? That person is pretty magnetic as well. And so I hope that through even like thinking about this, you'll realize that as you're working in your business or your organization or even like developing your own, um, maybe your personal brand or just your reputation that you'll remember like looks can be deceiving. Looks aren't everything. And that'll force you to work on the substance of yourself, the substance of your organization, the substance of your brand, and not be so romantic about the way it looks. Now, I will say, once you have the substance in place, please be romantic about the way it looks because it's awesome when the full package is there, but don't sacrifice the one for the other because it's flashing. It makes you feel good. I've told, I look, I built a, a coffee truck company at one point in my life and we ended up selling the truck. It didn't work out, right? You, you win, you lose. And we had the best coffee truck videos, logos, you know, the best messaging, but our business model sucked. It didn't work. We couldn't execute. So guess what? Out of business, out of business because looks weren't everything. We definitely had the best coffee truck video uh, in the east, on the East Coast, perhaps in the country, and the company went out of business. Why? Because we couldn't execute, because we didn't have uh, a refined execution of the brand message and the media that looked really great. I mean, have you ever seen a movie trailer that looks so good, and then you realize, you go see the movie, and you're like, this movie had no substance. It was just all flash. Why is that? Why is that the case? Well, because there's actu actually no substance that is the underpinning of the flash. I hope this is all coming together. It's something that I've seen more and more. I personally have been guilty of being so obsessed with the flash and so obsessed with the finer details that I've abandoned the fact that the substance was lacking or that the execution was lacking. And I'm just telling you this from experience at this point. I'm not saying that I don't love the nuance. Again, I'm not saying I don't love the nuance. I'm not saying I don't love the great creative. I'm not saying that that isn't important. But I'm saying just in the same way that looks aren't everything, and you could see somebody that's really, really good looking, but is a total dirtbag on the other side, in the same way, you can focus way too much attention on the nuance and the flash, and you could be wasting those time and resources that need to be spent on the substance and the execution. So like many, many, many things in life, I'm talking about a little concept called balance. And it's hard to have balance when there's an allure of the way something looks. And the other side, working on the other side, just isn't as much fun, right? It takes real work. Relationship takes real work. I can say it. I am 19 years, just about 19 years into a marriage, and it takes real work, but I can say my wife gets more beautiful the longer we go through life. And her personality gets more beautiful the longer we go through life. Actually, her ability to cook has gotten amazing over the last 19 years. But it all adds to the story. Looks can be deceiving. Looks aren't everything. It's the whole package. Your design elements, and all, it's important, but it's not everything. Coming to you from someone who loves design, who loves great creative, I'm just trying to share with you what I have learned in business and what I see actually played out through the business world. Had a little bit of help from Gary Vaynerchuk uh, making that point at the conference last week about McDonald's. All of that to say, I hope this gives you a little more balance in your life, a little more balance in your um, endeavors with your business and your career as you build your brand, as you do some marketing. I'm excited just that we got to spend this time together. As always, I'll say it again. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time with me here today. Have some really fun stuff coming up. I'm gonna get to travel. We're gonna go to Florida for a conference, gonna be speaking. Might do a little meetup, so I'll keep you tuned about that. Um, also doing rooms on Clubhouse every day of the week if you're in the auto industry, more specifically for you, but we do some other stuff non-automotive as well. Regardless, thanks for spending some time with me here today. I can't wait to see you next week. And until then, please stay connected on social media. DM me, I do answer. And until next time, pursue clarity. We came to fight.